Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Android developers encounter. Our viewer is curious about how to write a value onto HTML5 local storage from an Android web view. They want to know if there's a way to pass values from the Android side to the JavaScript side without reloading the entire page. Let's dive into this intriguing challenge and explore the possibilities. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To write a value onto HTML5 local storage from an Android web view, we can use JavaScript injection. This allows us to execute JavaScript code directly from the Android side. First, ensure that your web view is set up correctly. You need to enable JavaScript in your web view settings. Now, let's see how to pass a value from your Android application to the local storage. You can call the evaluate JavaScript method after the page has loaded. Finally, on the JavaScript side, you can retrieve the value from local storage whenever needed without reloading the page. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To write a value to HTML5 local storage in an Android web view, you can use the localStorage.setItem method. This allows web applications to store data locally in the user's browser, which is often more efficient than using cookies. Additionally, you can enhance your Android app's interaction with the web page by using the Add JavaScript Interface method to bind your Android class to the web page. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To write a value onto HTML5 local storage from Android, you can use the location hash property in JavaScript. First, load a URL with a hash value in your web view. Next, set a web view client to handle the page. Then, in your JavaScript, access the hash value and store it in local storage. Finally, use JavaScript to retrieve the hash and save it in local storage. And that's it, guys. I hope the video helped find that resolution you were looking for. And, you know, if it did, please, I appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until next time, guys, that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.